Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn and our topic for today is Solving for two or more arithmetic means Finding a single arithmetic mean of arithmetic sequence was easy. You simply use the formula a sub 1 plus a sub 3 over 2. But what if you are looking for two or more arithmetic means? So let's say you have solved for the arithmetic means of 4 blank blank 28. So obviously you are looking for two arithmetic means for this one. So can we still use this formula? Arithmetic mean equals a sub 1 plus a sub 3 over 2. Oh my no! God! No! God! No, because this formula is applicable only for one arithmetic mean. So, if that is the case, what can we use to find for the arithmetic means of 4 blank blank 28? On one of my previous lessons, I told you that if you have the common difference of an arithmetic sequence, you can easily find the terms of that arithmetic sequence. So, therefore, we can make use of the common difference to find the missing two arithmetic means between 4 and 28. So how are we going to find the common difference of this arithmetic sequence? So we can just simply use the formula for the common difference of arithmetic sequence given two terms on your arithmetic sequence and that is a sub n minus a sub k over n minus k. The a sub n and a sub k here are actually the given two terms on your arithmetic sequence and you're going to assign these variables to your terms. So for this one, I'm going to assign a sub n as 28 and a sub k as 4. So a sub n is 28 and a sub k is 4. So the n and the k here are the position of a sub n and a sub k respectively. So n is the position of a sub n. So since a sub n is the fourth term, n is equal to 4. k is the position of a sub k. So since a sub k is the first term, k is equal to 1. So now we can always the formula by replacing the variables with the values that we obtain. So a sub n will become 28, a sub k is 4, n is 4, then k is 1. So when you solve for this one, 28 minus 4, is 24 then 4 minus 1 is 3 so 24 over 3 is equal to 8 so the common difference is 8 so what are we going to do with the common difference we're going to use this to find the terms of your arithmetic sequence so if you want to find the next term after 4 you just simply add 8 to 4 which will give you 12 if you want to find the next term after 12 we're just going to add 8 to 12 which will give you 20. So therefore, the two missing arithmetic means between 4 and 28 are 12 and 20. Nice. So let's have another one. Find the arithmetic means of 6 blank 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 26. So again, we're going to solve for the common difference of this arithmetic sequence. So we're going to use the formula common difference is equal to a sub n minus a sub k over n minus k. So we're going to assign a sub n, so for this one, let's have 26, then a sub k as 6. So a sub n is equal to 26, a sub k is equal to 6. So now let's have the n. So since a sub n is the fifth term, n is equal to 5. And a sub k is the first term, so k is equal to 1. So replace the variables with the values that we obtain. So we have... 26 minus 6 over 5 minus 1. So we solve for this one. 26 minus 6 is 20. 5 minus 1 is 4. So 20 over 4 is equal to 5. So the common difference is equal to 5. So we're going to use 5 to find the next terms of your arithmetic sequence. So we will have 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 5, 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. So the missing arithmetic means between 6 and 26 are 11, 16, and 21. Nice. Okay, so let's have our last example for this. So insert for arithmetic means between 127 and 7. 
So since we're looking for four arithmetic means, we will have 127, blank, 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 7. And the same with what we did on our previous example, we're going to use the common difference to find the terms on this arithmetic sequence. So the common difference is equal to a sub n minus a sub k over n minus k. Then we're going to assign a sub n and a sub k. So I will use 7 as my a sub n and 127 as my a sub k. So a sub n is equal to 7, a sub k is equal to 127. And my n is the position of a sub n which is 6 because a sub n is the 6th term. And k is the position of a sub k which is the first term so therefore k is equal to 1. So replace the variables with the given values, we will have 7 minus 127 over 6 minus 1. So 7 minus 127 is negative 120 over 6 minus 1 is 5. So negative 120 over 5 is equal to negative 24. So we're going to use negative 24 to find the terms of our arithmetic sequence. If you want to find the next term, after 127, we're going to add negative 24 and that will give us 103 then we're going to look for the next term we're going to add negative 24 to 103 that will give us 79 then we add another negative 24 so we will have 55 then add another negative 24 and that will give us 31 so the four arithmetic means between 127 and 7 are 103 79 55 and 31. Nice. So that's it. So thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something from this video.